Hey, what's going on, everybody? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to Young Brawl and Gaming Channel today, guys. I'm going to be sharing some live, well, not live, but I'm going to be covering some ladder gameplay that uh, I did to get to a new all-time highest on this account, guys. It's my Golem account. We're currently ranked around 5,400 in the world. Uh, 6740 is the season highest, as well as the highest trophies ever achieved on this account, guys. I've got some really nice games that I did on the way here. You'll see I went on like a winning streak here, guys. Check this out. I was actually not losing for a moment. So we'll definitely jump into a few of the key matchups in this. You know, of course, we want to check out the one with the golem, e-golem. That one's going to be a, that one's going to be a good one. It's going to four elixir until someone made a move. All right, here we go. So the opponent decided to start off with the barb hut. You know, I go with the night, which loaded up in the back. And we just hold back. We just hold back. Still trying to figure out the type of spells that the opponent has because that can make or break the game. At this point, you know, I go with the golem in the back because I didn't really have another option. You know, nothing better than that. So I had to do what I had to do there. You know, here I go with the baby dragon early. I believe I want those barbarians gone. That batter healer has to go, so I use a mega minion. That E dragon right there, though, is uh, it's gonna be a problem. So you know, I just decide to lightning that in case the opponent decided to stack up troops in front of that. We're down about seven elixir guys, and I don't know how we still lost this game. Hey, you guys, I'm sure you guys are watching that. There we go. I was at about four elixir, five elixir. You know, I load up the Night Witch a little bit higher because we want the Barbarians not hitting our tower. You know, as long as we can defend, that should be all right. um batter healer here from the opponent in the right so at this point i want to drop my air units or i don't want to drop ground because batter healer only heals if it's hitting something on the ground obviously we know that i go with the baby dragon here on the nato on the well mega minion on the baby dragon and my nato on nothing actually i missed the nato on the batter healer a newbie play there don't want to try that at home guys but uh, all right we're into double elixir now I go with the golem. The opponent starts out with the uh, e dragon in the in the back in the right lane. So okay, okay, it's looking it's looking nice, right? I go with the night witch. You know, you want to set it up a little bit back so that way, if I drop baby dragon here, I don't end up giving poison value. You see, the opponent can't really poison me here because the night witch, as you see, so far away, the night witch will end up staying alive because of that poison being so far away. And you will see, he'll be able to spawn the extra bats that we wanted to. Well. The E Dragon took care of it, but you see what the point was there. You know, I try to send in the Lumberjack, but the E Dragon there on defense is creating a problem for Baby Dragon or anything. So, here, this is a nice play from the opponent. I have to try to get the Batter Healer. Well, E Dragon first, and then the Batter Healer. I try to do the Batter Healer away from the E Golem, but still, it ended up healing because it has that range. You know, at this point, guys, I'm just trying to get the four elixir from the e-golem as early as possible. And, you know, it's my time to spam because I can't really do much with the golem deck. I got the elixir from the e-golem and you can try to break through with that, especially when the rage is there, guys. You see the mega minion gets to the tower with the rage. It was able to knock down that side. A tough game. I'll take it. However, it came. All right, we're not going to check out this one because that looks like a virus. Uh, we're we'll going to... Uh, now we're not going to check out this one, guys. So this is a Barb Goblin Hut. Um, actually, why don't we go and do check out this Sparky matchup? Sparky matches up are always good against the Golem. They're very difficult. So the opponent here starts off with the Dark Prince. I didn't really have a good cycle, so I go with the Mega Minion and Barbarian Barrel. Just try to stop the charge from the Dark Prince from hitting our tower. 
opponent loads up the Night Witch in the back. I'm still trying to figure out the type of deck this is. Night Witch, Dark Prince, what could that be? You know, here the giant in front of the Night Witch. We want to make sure that we're hitting the bats with the baby dragon as well as the as well as the Night Witch. This was really well played with the I with the heal spirit. You know, it, it healed up the Night Witch just for a bit. And uh a wizard in this deck too, so it's a little bit of an off-meta sparky deck. You know, I'm not gonna touch that. I'll end up wasting my elixir, which I will need on offense. There we go. We were up about a little bit of elixir. I think we were up like maybe three or four when I dropped that golem. But we still gotta deal with this sparky though. So I think I go with the mega minion there. And the uh, opponent goes with the Dark Prince. I load up the Night Witch. It's a little bit back. That way Sparky doesn't hit the Night Witch. It only hits the Golem. Here, it did get to the it did get to the Night Witch. Took care of that. But we got a little bit of damage in. And uh, we've got the damage advantage here too. Elixir lead. We're up a little bit. A Barbarian Barrel. That's going to... You know, sometimes that makes the opponent spend elixir. You see a five elixir card on that two elixir barbarian just because they didn't want to give two hits in. But now we got to defend against this counter push somehow. The heavy spell, there is nothing. Only a zap and a rage. But I still try to, you know, set up everything to the left. You see that rage though, guys? That rage was going to get a lot of value in if I didn't have baby dragon NATO with the mega minion to help pull that back. You know, the wizard here has a little bit of health. That could be a few hits. So I load up the Barbarian Barrel. You know, I want to do Lumberjack right behind that. Mega Minion on the Dark Prince. And you'll see here, I do a Golem because I got a little bit of health on the Lumber. And the Sparky, well, Lumber is going to help the Golem rage to the tower. You'll see in a bit right there, guys. Check that out. Unfortunate thing right there, the Sparky ended up hitting the Night Witch as well as the Golem. So the Night Witch got taken care of in one hit. But that Rage was there to help us get many hits on that tower. With the, with the bats as well, guys, able to get that tower. It was a pretty good, pretty good game. We got this one right here, a quick cycle deck. We can definitely check this one out. It's everywhere on meta. Has the Valkyrie Skelly Barrel poison. So the opponent, oh, slow down. The opponent starts off with the Skelly Barrel and the bats. I go with the baby dragon and I figured I needed the NATO. Otherwise, my tower would have been at like 1500 HP if I had let that go. That was a good minor because I didn't have the NATO. So if I don't have the NATO in my cycle, the opponent knows that I can't try to do an activation on the King Tower because I don't have a NATO. And there's only one spot that you can't. Tornado the miner onto your king tower and that's towards the corner where most players start off the game with That where I dropped my night witch I would have caught it. So I that was a mistake on my part I wouldn't say it was a mistake. It was a bad prediction. Maybe Because I didn't know it was gonna go there. I, I figured it would go in the same place, but Here with the rage guys baby dragon ends up getting the hits a few hits onto that tower very crucial and you'll see here, guys, this is a six elixir play. I defended it with two, and we didn't lose our tower. That gives us about three elixir lead, right? And a miner on top. Now that gives me a seven elixir positive trade. So now I can drop a golem and try to build off of that. And we still have not lose that, lost that tower. So if we can try to uh, get the damage in in this play, you know, that was a good... A good decision to let that miner and the and the dark goblin hit our tower you see i keep that distance in the night witch and the golem so that way the poison is the key guys if you know the poison spell is there this is how you try to give it not the value that the poison players are looking for you know after the poison was used the night witch ends up living with that and that's when the bats become a problem the opponents start spending way too much elixir on defense sometimes it becomes a problem to even defend here, a Barbarian Barrel, a Miner, you know, I just let it get the hits that it wants. 45 seconds left in the game. This is our last and final push. 
we still got time so we sh we can still break through we got time uh golem gets up there i do the same play with the night witch guys load it up a little bit back this time a higher lumber because we want that rage effect i lightning the bomb tower that way golem goes straight to the tower guys a barbarian barrel the skelly barrel on the left side so as long as we can take that right side we should be okay uh we can focus in the in the left lane then because the opponent still has to go for that right tower and that is that's gonna work out for us you know i let that miner go but check out the lead that we have here guys the opponent ended up spending way too much elixir you know i just baby dragon that i use a nato on the bats you know keeping the baby dragon alive because we want that bar butt taken care of for sure i throw in a lumberjack there as well you know we're gonna take care of the dark goblin with that throwing the mega minion try to use the rage effect i have to get a barber ready i don't know if i use it here i'm surprised i didn't use it here i should have used it there because then the rage would have helped uh, get the barbarian to the tower faster you know i nato because i want to get that dark goblin taken care of otherwise it's going to finish my baby dragon and uh but yeah bar goblin hurt from the opponent you know we start up a golem higher taking the damage onto the golem from the spare goblins mega minion early i try to do a minor prediction but there was no minor in that play um baby dragon to the right We're trying to avoid that poison value the point chooses to poison the baby dragon and the lumberjack let's see if that was uh that was a good decision so you see this deck is very quick guys it's a cycle deck it can uh it can absolutely throw you off the lumberjack i try to predict the minor and um you see the poison comes out from the opponent a little bit early lumberjack leaves i lightning that questionable lightning from my part we got about 30 seconds left in the game a minor lumberjack barber no barber again for me that is interesting um here guys we got about 15 seconds left in the game i just lightning the tower I'm trying to defend against this play you got to catch the dark goblin in the pocket barbarian barrel the skeletons this time miner is not going to get much damage there and uh we win in overtime with 565 on that hp on that tower that was a good game All right, let's check out another one, guys. Let's check out the this one. No expo. Expo is good, but we'll check out we'll check out this uh, log bay with the Tesla guys. With the Tesla one, I'm I'm always a fan of Tesla matchups uh, because I can lightning that rather than the Inferno Tower locking on, so it's a bit easier to bypass through the tesla log bay as a golden player i feel like so the opponent starts off with the goblin barrel you know i have a nato i have a bar barrel in my cycle we can easily clean that up i got a good read on it it was towards the left of the tower a bit so that worked out i spirit at this point i'm pretty sure this is a log bay deck it's just a matter of figuring out if this is a uh you know the classic log bay with the tower inferno tower or is it with the tesla or it could be neither of those it could be the log bay with the prince and the rascal so you know that's what you, that's what you try to figure out as early as possible because you will play the matchup completely different when you know the type of deck you're facing you know here i figured the nato was going to be nice i can just nato that away i could have activated my king tower but i didn't want to give that chip damage that's all it was here on night witch cycle because i know i'm not going to go with the golem play this early against this matchup so i don't have to hold it in my cycle because i can always get back to it here we go with the mega minion into that same lane guys you know you try to catch that princess gotta be very careful of these goblin barrels this one's a little bit to the right i messed up messed up a little bit there all right cool cool so we're we're not in double elixir just yet but 
or close, or pretty close. You know, here we're gonna set up the Night Witch play with the Golem. The Goblin Barrel was out of the cycle when we did that play. You know, I'm holding on to my lightning here in case I saw that it was an Inferno Tower, but when I saw that it was Tesla, I believe I was able to. Whoa, I think I only Tesla. What? I only lightning that? That's interesting for me. I nadoed in everything. You know, that took care of the princess as well as the goblin gang. So that, that worked out. That was not too shabby. That's cool. That's cool. We're picking up some chip damage. Early, we're going to do a higher mega minion so we can take care of the knight. We don't want that getting to our tower. This time, I got a good read on the goblin barrel. I saw that it was to the right side of the tower. So I got my barbell there. I already had the golem ready in the back. Here we go with the night witch play. You know, I know I'm going to need the lightning here to bypass through this Tesla nicely. I wait. Ooh, do I lightning this? Maybe not. Maybe not on this try because I, oh, I did lightning that. Interesting lightning for me, but that's fine. That's fine. We're at that tower with the bats. Golem, because I have the barbarian barrel in my cycle. If we see the goblin barrel, I can cycle that. And making sure that we don't give too much damage on our tower. Here you'll see that I go with the baby dragon. I'm looking to see if I can get some natal value. If I see something like a uh, princess or something. There we go. The Tesla holding off the golem from getting to the tower, guys. Baby dragon locks onto the tower. I got the lightning in on time as well. But still... That tower is not lightning range, so this can still get messed up if played, if made like one mistake or something. Here we go. You got to make sure you read these goblin barrels. As long as you're reading the goblin barrels, you should be all right. The opponent throws a good game. Um, I just load up a night witch in the back just to play it safe. Uh, golem in the front. We got the lightning ready. Lumberjack on the Goblin Gang, making sure that you catch that. And once we take care of this Tesla, I don't think there's anything that's going to stop the Golem from getting to that tower, guys. The rocket's out. You know, you can go ahead and uh, spam stuff into the uh, into the Rage. Here we go. You see that Lumberjack into the Rage, guys, getting that hit. Two hits on that tower to finish off that game. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and check out this weird off-meta golem deck with the Dark Prince, Baby Dragon, Goblin Hut, Mega Minion. Let's see how this one unfolded. The opponent sets up a Goblin Hut. Early in the game, I got a Lumber. I started in front of my tower, so we don't take any damage on our tower. So now the opponent spent seven Elixir. I spent four. We're up about three. I go with the Baby Dragon under the Rage. Because I want to try to take care of that Goblin Hut. I Barbarian Barrel as well. So that actually helped us out. Look at that Baby Dragon getting the splash damage. And Mega Minion. Making sure that we don't have to respond to this play. I actually could have nated that back. But I just wanted to have that 3 extra Elixir against this matchup. Is that's, That was my thought process when I, when I did that. I almost nadoed it though. I, I, at first, right now, though, I thought this was a graveyard deck because it doesn't look like a golem deck to me, you know, but we'll see how this one worked out, guys. I go with the Night Witch in the back. You'll see the Lumberjack right in front. The poison does the opponent doesn't have enough elixir to drop a poison. Instead, a NATO drops from the opponent. Interesting choice. We got a Mega Minion here. Uh, it's gonna help clean out the baby dragon nicely with the help of the rage. That was a that was a little uh, questionable baby dragon from my part. I just thought that the rage effect might help us, but it was me being a little bit too greedy. I guess I tried to get too much damage there. I thought I was gonna take the whole tower with that baby dragon or something, but you know, ended up being a little bit of a waste of elixir. And now we're back to being down elixir. We're down one elixir and damage is down as well. So double elixir is here. You know, I'm not worried about that goblin hut into that other lane. I'm going to go with the play in the left. Golem Night Witch. 
the opponent sets up a baby dragon a really nice play with the barbarian barrel making sure that the night witch does not survive that poison you know i go baby dragon mega minion bar barrel here onto the dark prince you try to take that stuff as early as possible and we load up another night witch play guys you see i wait for these baby dragons to cross the bridge and i drop the golem on them the golem distracts both of the dragons i mega minion on top of them you know we're trying to get that damage as done as early as possible here i'm just trying to make sure that we can not let this goblin hut set up you know i don't really have a good response to that so um this actually helped me out guys the dark prince went into the right lane and i ended up being making a horrible mistake myself so i ended up defending that with the lumberjack i didn't need the night witch because the lumber dark prince had gone in the left lane so i start the higher golem and this is when i find out that the opponent's using golem can you believe that guys but the rage effect here is gonna help me get the golem to the tower much faster so i go with the baby dragon mega minion you know i look to see if i can uh night witch i still want to defend that right side and check this lumber out guys the opponent does not have elixir here because of that baby dragon and barbell on offense check that lumber guys getting them hits in on that tower bringing it down to 53 hp and all i gotta do is get the lightning in on time and that should be game that was a tough tough matchup um let's check out the finale here guys let's check out this uh ice bow ice bow is always fun right some people hate it some people are a fan of it but uh yeah i'm just going into okay so the opponent sets up a defensive tesla i go with the higher golem you know, I can't let that Tesla just build up, right? I don't want that. I'm going to ignore the right also. I'm not going to worry too much about that. We'll wait for the Tesla to pop out. Right, I go with the baby dragon. I try to take care of this side. And the opponent goes with the rocket, guys. And there's not going to be enough elixir, I felt like, to defend. But the knight comes out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You know, I still try to take... As much as uh, value I can from the Rage with the help of the Night Witch. You see we get one hit. And the Rage effect. We got plenty of damage guys. This is what we needed after starting the way that we started right. It's going to double Elixir for Elixir until the game started. Maybe that Golem was a little bit of a mistake. I started it a little too back. I should have done a little bit of higher. Well this time I did it higher because. A little back because you know. I'd be cool if it locked on to the left tower. Then we can uh, have a healthy golem push into the king tower for three crown. Here, the defensive expo and a Tesla. But I only lightning the Tesla with the ice wizard so that way golem can make its way straight to the tower. But that's a really nice pull with the tornado guys. And the opponent decides to rock it. the baby dragon you see what i mean here the opponent goes with the expo here and uh i go with the golem block also have a lightning back in cycle i wait for the tesla to pop lightning clears out the way for the golem you know it's gonna go straight to the tower and uh all we need is one hit 10 seconds to go i believe we are gonna be able to finish that up i think all right, cool, cool, cool. Definitely had to take care of that with one second to go, guys. You see, I start the higher golem this time. The expo locks on to the golem. This is where it becomes kind of impossible for expo players to win unless they, like, do amazing defense and rocket cycle you. But locking on an expo with losing tower, in this situation only I'm talking about, where you have lost your right or the opponent has lost that left, and it becomes very difficult for the expo players to take care of your tower but nonetheless guys good game good game well played um i'm gonna end this one here i hope you do guys enjoy
this gameplay of 6740 got to 5457 um four days to go in this season hopefully this is gonna last and stay in the top 10k because i would like to have that finish on my third account i'll definitely take that all right guys thanks for watching brawling out as always take care guys appreciate your support and if you have not hit that subscribe button down below guys i don't know what you're waiting for stay tuned guys brawling out peace